Hi, um, I've got a project here. I've got an old um, air compressor. Well, not old, it's fairly new actually. Just sitting in the cupboard, never used. I believe I probably paid about $10 for it, 10 Australian dollars from uh, Kmart. Um, probably a couple of years back now. I've already taken the screws out and I've got them mounted on a hard drive magnet just so I don't lose them. This is just held together loosely. I previously took it apart just to have a look. I'm going to now remove the casing and here we can see the inside. Got the motor, 12 volt, the drive cog that drives from the motor. I'll turn it around in a minute you can see. And you've got the crank and crank arm to the bottom of the piston and in here is a shaft and in here inbuilt into this casting are some valves. Um, there's obviously an inlet valve that seals, it draws the air in and then locks again and then pushes the air out here. So what we need to do is somehow reverse the process. And now remove these two screws to reveal inside here and then I will work away, work out a way of uh, reversing the polarity. Right, uh, now I just want to show you, I've removed the screws and it's in two halves. This is the uh, bottom half of the motor. And the drive. Inside here is the uh, piston. On here there's a little hole there, which that hole draws the air in and it has a little reed valve on the other side. As it draws the air in and the air is pushed back up, that reed valve locks and then the air is displaced through this uh, valve here. There will be another valve on the other side I believe, of some kind of little spring valve or, or something. This is a compressed um, cap like sealed in there, there's a cap there and it looks like it's been machine pressed in. So I'm going to file this lip down and release that cap which has a, a spring and some kind of valve in it and release that out. Okay so I'll fold down the uh, lip, there is a cap in there so you can see there's a change in the light around there. I'll show you around there, it's like cracks and stuff but now I have to work out how to get that out. Okay, what I've been on doing now is I've ended up drilling the hole. I've used about a 3 mil drill bit on a cordless drill. Now what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and get a self tapper screw and screw it into there and see about a twist and undo and pull out. That's what I'm going to attempt to do. Okay, the good news is um, that worked. Putting the screw in the end, drilling it down a bit, pulled it out. That's like a tapered um, plug. Okay, slight change of scenery, scenery because uh, it's dark outside now, so I'm inside. Um, so what I did next is I cut through, so I'm doing a one hand camera job again. Camera in one hand, I'm trying to show you the other. So I cut through the um, pipe there, cut the end off, then I removed the uh, pressure gauge. Then I'm faced with the tube there, the thread. Still got the reed thing in there, still haven't blocked up the whole the little hole on the outside. So there's the hole on the outside. I will block that in with resin glue. Right now, I have got a piece of 8mm PVC tubing. From 8mm, I got some quarter inch water pipe. And I cut a short piece of the PVC off put a piece on the end. So I pushed that on and I left about three mils at the end. Now that three mil will just cause a little taper so I can push it into excuse the camera work. Right. I can push it into there and thread it in and get it quite tight. So I'll do that. Okay so I've, um, I've screwed the pipe into the end tight as I can. Now I use this tube as a vacuum so that that joint is always pulling inwards so hopefully the pressure wouldn't blow that off if anything fails. Right, okay there are two things left to do one is to block that hole up and 
the second one is to fix that tapered plug back in the hole. Right, I'm going to use an old disc and I'm going to mix up some epoxy resin on here and then put it in the hole. And um, I'll show you when I've done that. I'm using an old uh, pen lid to mix the. We we'll use that to mix it and to push it in the hole. Okay, I mix the epoxy resin and I put it in the uh, the hole and I put it on nice and thick. Pushed it in the hole the best I can. Just got to wait for it to set and go hard. What I also decided to do, I don't know if you can see that, but I um, put hammered the cap back in the best I could, and then I filled the um, around the top of epoxy resin, and then hope that that has enough to hold the pressure. Okay, first stage of putting it back together. I put the two long screws in here and around there. Um, that's glued at the top, stop that cap coming out, tube in the other end, this is screwed in, got the out, what was the output tube, which will still just uh, expel the air but won't suck it back in, and I'll put it back in the housing now. Okay, um, this stage here I've got a check valve on the end, now that check valve is off a window washer type uh, check valve, which is a one way check valve. The second check valve I've got here is an uh, under sink check valve off of a uh, water system which uh, works pretty good and that will draw the air in as a vacuum and that one will let the air out. So that's the stage I'm up to at the moment. Alright, we have one bottle on there, I'm just going to connect the lead. Thank you. 